Hi there, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. Today we'll be making this Father's Day card. It's one of those infinity cards or never-ending cards or everlasting cards, whatever you want to call it. It's just It just goes on and on and on. <laughs> it never stops. Um, and I think that's why they call it the infinity card. So we'll be making this. It's project number one in my um, Geared Up Garage club kit. So check out my website www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current club kit I'm offering. Now this club kit will be available through May 31st uh, or until my supplies is depleted. If you didn't purchase a club kit don't worry I'll give you the supplies and dimensions as we go along so that you can make this Infinity Father's Day card along with us. Now the stamps and dies that you'll need, um, you'll need the Geared Up Garage stamps and the Garage Gear Thinlets dies. This is sold as a bundle until May 31st, 2019. You'll need your Rectangle Stitched Framelits dies and your Layering Ovals Framelits dies. The inks that you're going to want to have are the Memento Tuxedo Black, Tranquil Tide, pumpkin pie and basic gray although you could get by with just the memento tuxedo black if that's all you have and then I'm going to be using the dark poppy parade Stampin' blends or you could use any red marker that you have and then I'm also going to be using our journaling pen our black journaling pen and I'll be using the O1 you will want some baby wipes handy because we will be getting our fingers inky uh, in one of the techniques where we distress these gears that we die cut. And of course you'll need your stamp apparatus or your stamp positioner, whichever you use. And you'll need your Big Shot or your um, whatever die cut machine you use. Now the first, uh, we'll go over the cardstock first. You're going to need four sheets that are six by three, and I'll show you how I cut those so that you can get the most use out of your cardstock. I first cut my cardstock at six, and then I cut three um, pieces at three inches. I didn't cut these exactly at three inches, I cut them just a hair sh uh, short of three inches. And the reason I did that is because um, if you cut them exactly at three inches, you're going to have, they're not going to be so easily to move. They're going to want to catch on each other. Um, and you will, you still might have to do some trimming, but um, if you don't leave that extra hair a distance, then your, your uh, cardstock is going to want to catch. So you'll really want six by just a hair short of three inches and you need four of those. So that's how I cut the first sheet and then the second sheet when I cut the fourth one I took my uh, eight and a half sheet and I cut just a hair short of three inches this way and then I cut it at exactly at six inches that way. That way I did I still had this nice big piece of um, basic gray left to work with. So that gave me my four pieces of basic gray, six, but just a hair short of three inches. And then I have a piece that's, where is it? <laughs> Here it is. And then one more piece of basic gray, which is four and a quarter by two and a half. So we're going to put um, our cardstock that we're going to stamp on over here and this is going to be a stamped on so four and a quarter by two and a half is going to be stamped on. We have a piece of whisper white two two and a half inches wide by two and three quarters inches high and we will be stamping on that. This is a piece of basic black three inches by three inches we'll be die cutting that. We have some real red um, it is two and a half by one and a quarter 
and that's going to go on our front sentiment so we don't need to worry about that this is another real red three by two we will be die cutting that three by two it has some daffodil delight now in your packet you'll have two yellow sheets of cardstock and I want to show you both this is the crushed curry that you have and this is the daffodil delight you have two of those it's the lighter yellow and I chose the lighter yellow because we're going to stamp on it so I have quite a bit of the daffodil delight uh, we have three by two that's going to be stamped on our three by two we have a three and a half by two um, that will be die cut we have a three and three quarters by two that will be stamped and then we have a four and a quarter by two and a half and that will be um, stamped on as well next we have some smoky slate and we have a three by three inch and that's going to be stamped on so we'll put that in our stamped pile uh, smoky slate again four and a quarter by two and a half that will be um, die cut and a um, four and a quarter by three and a quarter and that will be stamped so we have our die cut pile our stamped pile some of those will be die cut and then we just have our these this is for our base these four here that's a background so we don't need that right now for our DSP um, the little signs you want four squares one and three one and three eighths by one and three eighths four of those one and three eighths by one and three eighths and what I did is I just cut took my six by six and cut a strip one and three eighths then I took that strip and cut it into one and three eighths to save on paper and I did the same with this um, one and three eighths for these as well this is the little nut it has like the little nuts uh, nut and bolts this is the nuts and it's one and three eighths squares then I have some DSP now this DSP is from the classic garage DSP this is the classic garage DSP it's a six by six paper pad you're going to cut um, now the back of this looks like this it's black and white with the cars and this is pumpkin pie these are one and three eighths wide by two and seven eighths long so I just cut two strips of my six by six one and three eighths one and three eighths then I cut those strips into two and seven eighths two and seven eighths so I ended up with four one and three eighths by two and seven eighths I did the same thing with the real red and it has the little um, I guess there's a gauge on the back I'm not sure what gauge that is if that's an oil gauge or a gas gauge but that's what the back looks like and again the same thing one and three eighths by two and seven eighths and we have four of those now for your the main uh, DSP we have two of the two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and what I did is I took the six by six I cut two and seven eighths this way then I cut that into two and seven eighths and two and seven eighths the same with the uh, steering wheels two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths and the same with the maps two and seven eighths and two and seven eighths the only thing about the maps I wanted to tell you was it has like a little uh, legend or something here on this side um, you do want to cut your two and seven eighths so that this this compass is um, going to be here you want that compass in the corner so you're going to cut your two and seven eighths I would trim this off this black line off and I would trim this black line off here just as close to the line as you can get then I would cut my two and seven eighths this way 
and then two and seven eighths and two and seven eighths so that you end up with your um, compass in the top left hand corner. So there I have my compass in the type top left hand corner and then um, your tools, wrenches and nails and rent such uh, screwdrivers you're going to do two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths so that's the um the main body ones that you're going to need so i like to start with my stamping so i have my stamping pile i'm going to put my die cut pile over here stack and we'll get uh, the stamp apparatus and our inks um, and we'll just go one at a time. So we'll start with the front and we can see that we have uh, all geared up uh, to celebrate. It needs to be stamped on a piece of go uh, Daffodil Delight. So I'll find that piece of Daffodil Delight and okay so the three and three quarters by two Daffodil Delight is for the front sentiment. And I'm just going to put that here. I'm going to die cut that with the rectangle die so I don't have to worry too much about placement other than I want to get it as much in the center as possible. So I'm going to get my All Geared Up to Celebrate stamp. So I have my All Geared Up to Celebrate and I'm going to just put that in the center as much as possible even distance top and bottom and sides and I'm ink that up with um, Memento Tuxedo Black. Now I find that because this um, colored cardstock is a little more porous than the, whis the Whisper White that we use, I usually have to stamp several times and then there are spots that need a little more ink than others. Okay, so I have that. So that was four times. Now, the thing about this stamp is that it is kind of a distressed stamp. So there'll be parts of it that, that look like they need ink, but really that's what it's supposed to look like. So I'm going to clean off my stamp. Now this is where my 01 uh, journaling pen comes in. I'm going to bring in my journaling pen and where there is spots of the ink that didn't stamp the distressed part, I'm filling that in with ju just, just a little bit is all that's needed, however much you need to fill it up. And that kind of makes it look um, truer. Now if you liked the, the look of the distress, then you might not want to fill it in with the journaling pen. Okay, so that's ready to die cut. So we'll put that in our die cut uh, stack. And uh, let's see. What else do we have? We have Happy Father's Day. So let's get um, one of our smoky slates. And that would be the four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Four and a quarter by three and a quarter smoky slate. This is going to be for our Father's Day and again we don't have to get it exactly we just need to get it in the center because we're going to die cut that as well. So I have my Happy Father's Day just going to stamp that in the center and I'm going to use tux, uh, Tranquil Tide but if you don't have Tranquil Tide you could use the Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm just using the Tranquil Tide because I think it goes better with that um, paper. Okay, that looks a little distressed, but that's okay. I like that distressed look for this particular uh, page here. So we'll put that in our die cut stack. And then we're going to get our Whisper White, which is two and a half by two and three quarters. Now we're going to need something to stamp off on so you might want to get a scratch piece of paper. I'm just going to use this scratch piece of paper. I'll clean off my Happy Father's Day stamp. So next we're going to use the oil stain which is this stamp right here. And we're just going to put that right in the center but we're not going to do full strength. We're going to stamp off 
and then stamp on. Now you can see that you're, there's like a little, like where it kind of goes up in the corner there. That's, you want that going up towards your left, towards the left corner, kind of like that. We will go ahead and pick that up and ink that up. That, that's going to be inked up with our basic gray ink. But again, you could use um, Memento Tuxedo Black if that's all you have. So I'm going to ink that up really good because I'm going to stamp off anyway. Put my paper there and stamp off really quick and then stamp on. So I just want a light stain. I don't want a lot because I'm going. that's where you're going to want to write your little message. So we'll clean off our ink our oil stain. Now we're going to uh, distress that a little bit and we're going to bring in our basic gray ink and you can see how I've kind of like taken and like drug it across the ink just lightly the edges and there we go. So we have our distressed ink um, on our Whisper White. You'll want to clean off your fingers if you got any ink on it. So we can put away our basic gray for now. We'll set this aside to dry. Next we're going to stamp uh, on a piece of Daffodil Delight, the little gas can, and Best Dad. So here is the four and a quarter by two and a half. We're going to stamp the Best Dad and the little gas can. Now the little gas can I'm going to stamp in uh, pumpkin pie, but you can stamp it in whatever color you have. So they're both going to go on this same piece of cardstock. So I'm just going to kind of make sure I have room. We'll be die cutting these. Pumpkin pie for a gas can or whatever color that you have. Okay, there's our gas can. And now we're going to get our basic gray back out or your Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm going to clean off my gas can stamp. So I'll pick up my Best Dad stamp and use my basic gray ink pad. And I'll have to do this a few times. It is supposed to be um, distressed, so if it looks distressed, that's okay. That's how it's supposed to look. Make sure it's good and dark. Okay, that's ready to die cut. Clean up my stamp. So we can put this in our die cut stack. Now we're going to get, uh, let's see what comes next. We'll flip our card. We need to do our toolbox and you jump start my heart. Both of those will be in memento black. So I have my three uh, three by three uh, smoky slate. Going to get my little toolbox stamp. Just put it in the center because we're going to uh, die cut it. Get my Memento Tuxedo Black. And with this there's very fine uh, details so I kind of rub it across the stamp to make sure I pick up, I ink up the that really fine detail. And again, this is porous uh, cardstock, very porous colored cardstock, cardstock. So I'm going to uh, ink it up several times. And we will be die cutting that, but we're also going to color it with some Stampin' Blends. So uh, we'll kind of set that aside in our Stampin' Blends pile. And then we'll come back to it. So I have my You Jump Start My Heart and my 3x2 
inch daffodil delight I'll make sure I have it right side up in the center because we're going to die cut it memento tuxedo black ink okay I'm going to clean off my stamp and we'll put that in our die cutting pile and put our stamp apparatus away now we're going to do some coloring and it's very faint very little coloring we're going to use our dark uh, poppy parade I'm going to use the brush tip I'm going to color the handles on there's a handle on the screwdriver there and then there's actually two screwdrivers like right there in the bottom left corner and then I'm going to get and I guess I forgot to tell you this we're going to do some coloring with a light smoky slate and I'll use the brush tip there's a wrench up here I will just kind of color that in and then there's another wrench right down here below it a socket wrench some pliers just whatever you can find just kind of color it and there's some more of that wrench there the rest of it and I'll color the screwdriver handles and then I'm going to color this little lock right here I'm going to color that the latch and I believe that's it for the coloring so we can put our light smoky slate away now this is ready to go in our die cutting uh, stack now I did some distressing to make it look a little more um, I guess I don't know more masculine um, so I did distress these um, gears which we will do after we die cut them but the DSP is also distressed so we'll get out our basic gray and our gears our gear paper which are these two here, the two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And I'm just going to touch the edges, not going to, not going to um, scrape these. I'm just going to touch the edge so you can see just the edge, that white part is being covered up. So that's done and now I'm going to do the other one, just touching the edges to the ink pad. That's all I, that I'm going to do. And I'll do the same with the red, just touching the edges. Be careful not to get your fingers inky and get ink on your DSP. Okay. Now we're going to go to the next one and let's see. We have the Happy Father's Day, uh, which needs to be distressed after we die cut it. And let's see. We'll go ahead and do the the steering wheels. We'll also do those in the gray. This just kind of helps take away that white, the white um, paper and helps with the distressing. We're going to take our little one and three eighths by one and three eighths and we're going to distress those. Those I'm sticking a little bit deeper into the ink because I do want to have a little more distress with them. Looks like I missed that side there. Yeah. I do want that ink to show up a little bit on the front. Just a little. Alright, so that's those. Let those dry. Uh, next we have the um, maps we're going to distress those 
I think I might do those with our pumpkin pie, but we'll also do um, these little signs with our basic gray. Okay, those are distressed, and then um, I might, I'm going to do these with pumpkin pie. So I'll get my pumpkin pie out. But you could use basic gray if you didn't have the pumpkin pie. Same thing, I'm just going to, and I might just like push those over just a little bit, just swipe it a little tiny bit to get a little bit of that more on the front so it has a more distressed look. And while I have my pumpkin pie out, I'm going to do my little strips of pumpkin pie. Okay, that's our pumpkin pie. Um, and I think I will also, hmm, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do these uh, in, in gray again. So I'll get my basic gray out. And get our tools, our DSP with the tools. And we're just going to distress those with the basic gray. Okay, and I think that's it. So we can put this away for now. And we'll let all these dry really well. We're gonna do some die cutting next. So let's bring in our die cutting stack. <laughs> and I guess we'll just do these a few at a time. We'll leave, we'll leave our gears for last. So the four and a quarter by two and a half pieces of smoky slate and and uh, basic gray. We'll set those aside because we're going to do those last. Those are for our gears. The three by three basic black, we're going to use the fourth smallest circle. Is that correct? And I didn't tell you that you needed circle dies, did I? Well, you're going to need your circle dies. <laughs> fourth smallest circle die. So let's see, The was it the fourth? fourth smallest. So we start out with the smallest. That would be one, two, three, four. That's this one right here. We're going to die cut our basic black with that, the fourth smallest circle die. I'm just, you don't have to, but I'm just going to put a little piece of the removable uh, magic tape there, Scott's magic tape. And then this one is um, second smallest rectangle die. So that's going to be second from the, the smallest. That's this one. Second smallest rectangle die. That's our Daffodil Delight. And I don't know, if, did I give you the dimensions? Three and a half by two. This is our real red, three by two, and it's the second smallest scallop oval. So I'm gonna get my scalloped ovals out. And that would be the smallest, and then the next one up is the second smallest. So we're gonna put this one right here. Uh, then what do we have? We have our toolbox. That's in our dies that come with our bundle. So we'll get that out. Our garage gears. Here we go. We're going to just line that up and uh, tape that down. Run it through our die cutting machine. 
The next one is our You Jump My Jump Start My Heart. Uh, let's see, that's the three by two, and we're going to use for that one this die here that has like a. I guess it's kind of like a teardrop kind of thing, upside down teardrop. <laughs> The little point goes down to the bottom, and we'll t I'm going to center that and tape it in place. There we go. Getting my stuff all ready to die cut here. My gas can and my best dad. Now the best dad we're going to cut with this. So I'm I may just go ahead and and divide these in half right here like that and line this up so that it's even take that in place then get my gas can and tape that in place with some tape and what else? So Happy Father's Day. Take that one in place. And then this all geared up to celebrate is on the three and a quarter by two. And that's going to be cut with, that's going to be cut with the smallest rectangle, stitched rectangle die. So we'll get that and put that in place, center it and tape it. Okay, and that we'll get, let's get all of this done and then we'll do our gears. So we're going to take all of this to our big shot, our, our die cutting machine and cut these out. Okay, so I have everything cut out and um, now we're going to do a little, a one more distressing that um, we couldn't do before we did our die cutting, and that is the this Happy Father's Day right here. We're going to distress that. Make sure I get all my dies separated so I don't throw any of them away by mistake. And there's my dies. All geared up to celebrate. There we go. That's actually going to go on top of the the real red that we have, the two and a half by one and a quarter real red. Um, this is going to go on top of this, I think, and this is going to go on top of this. And then we have our gas can. We have our circle. Now one of the things I forgot to tell you is that you will <laughs> keep saying that, don't I? Is the uh, from your um, it's it's from the starburst punch that we have and it's tranquil tide. That's going to go behind here. So that's that's what you're going to need for that. And I think that's all. I'm going to put my dies over here so I don't lose them. So these are all ready to go. If you don't have the starburst punch, you could maybe use one of the scallop circle punches if you wanted to make more of these. A scallop circle dies that we have if you wanted to make more of those. I'm going to put these over with my little oil stain. We'll get ready to assemble our card here in just a moment. Uh, I do want to get, now you don't have to do this, the so Happy Father's Day. I'm going to distress that with some um, of the basic gray ink and again I'm just going to roll it kind of on the sides and that kind of distresses it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Put that away to dry for now. So now we're going to do our gears. And so we'll bring in our 
four and a quarter by two and a half smoky slate and basic gray and I used specific gears uh, when I die cut these but you don't have to use the same ones so here's my gears we didn't use our die car our car die cut so I'll just sit that over there okay so you do have one large gear gear and we're going to do that in uh, the basic gray and then you have this three gears together that's going to go in the smoky slate on the smoky slate you have a gear that looks kind of like a star more like a star it's this one right here we're going to do that in smoky slate and then we have these left over now there's this one that looks kind of uh, the little spoke things are far apart that's going to be in um, we're going to do that in basic gray two of those in basic gray and then you have one that's similar to that but there's the little spoke things are smaller and they are going to go in the um, smoky slate and then there's these two left. This one with the the little spoky things are really close together. That's going to go in smoky slate. And then this one here. Um, actually, let me see. Hmm. Yeah, this one's a smoky slate. And this one is in a smoky slate and I guess this one here that I told you where is it hmm yeah this one here is um, this one is in smoky slate I mean uh, basic gray but it doesn't really matter so uh, basically we're going to get these inky before we um, put them on there that distress th so that's distressing them now you'll need some scratch paper so I have this little piece of scratch paper now you can do this two ways you can do use an ink dauber or you can just um, use your uh, pad so I'm just going to hold it down with my finger and kind of cover it up I will get my finger inky. This is what you needed your um, baby wipes for. So I have my baby wipes handy. I'm going to make sure I get that good and inky on the sides edges there. Okay, that one is ready to go on top of my um, <clears throat> smoky slate in the corner there and I'm going to put a piece of tape to hold it in place and I use the scotch removable magic tape okay so that's one down <laughs> you can see we're going to get inky all right so now we're going to do the others here we do need to have two of these one of these and one of these so one of these one of these and two of those so I'm just going to bring in my ink pad and ink those up as best I can and I'm going to pick it up gently put it over here tape it in place tape it in place if you move it around a little that's okay because it if it looks just if it looks messy that's good that's weird that's the look we're going for so I'm gonna run these through and then I'll do one more of this one and then this is what you get when you um, do it this way you get some really distressed looking die cuts and 
let's see which one did I this is the one I need to do two of so it's already come out so I'm going to ink that up one more time lightly and put that back on and run it through again so now I have my last one and it's good to have your piercing tool to kind of push these out of the dies Okay, and you'll want to clean your dies off uh, once you're done with them. You'll want to take your baby wipe and just wipe them off. And you can dry them with a cloth or just let them air dry, whichever you want to do. Just make sure you get all that ink off. The ink should come off pretty easily because the metal isn't very porous. And in case I forget to tell you, when you're completely finished, you'll want to wipe off your plates of your Big Shot 2 or your die plates because you'll probably get ink on them as well. Okay, so those are done. So we can set those aside. Now we're going to do the ones for our basic gray. We have the big one and then two of these and um, two of these. So we'll have to be sure to leave room for two more of those. This one is kind of big so I have to hold it to do it. Put it in the corner here. Tape it down. Yeah this is messy stamping <laughs> but ink eventually ink gets off so if you get a little messy that's not going to be a big deal the ink doesn't last forever it eventually wears off I'll wipe my hands So I'm going to cut these and then I'm going to cut two more of these smaller ones. So I'm going to ink those little ones up again. Looks like I needed a bigger piece of scratch paper. Okay, so I have the other two. Okay, so I'm going to add this in um, so that you make one more of these. Um, it's the one that has like the flat um, I got to the end of the video and realized I didn't make one of these. Have you make one of these? So you need to make one more of these in the basic gray. And we'll go ahead and ink that up. Sometimes I do that when I do my videos. <laughs> so, um, so we'll go ahead and make this one more. Uh, so that when we get to the end we won't be short. Go ahead and run that through our big shot. Okay, so now when we get to the end, we'll have enough of these. And like I said, you will want to wipe off, take that baby wipe and wipe off your plate and dry it because um, you will get ink on there for sure. And then you'll want to dry off your remaining dyes that you used. And be sure to clean your hands off really, really good. Okay, so we are get, we are ready to put together our card. Now this is like making three, four cards in one, so that's a little why it's a little bit time consuming, but I think it's definitely worth it. Okay, we're ready to assemble our infinity card. So we're going to need our four uh, pieces of basic gray, and they are six inches by just a hair short of three inches. We're going to need our scoring tool 
and we're going to score each one of these at one and a half inches on both ends. So uh, we're going to do it horizontal, one and a half, flip it over, one and a half, and we're going to do all uh, four of these the same way, one and a half. Now you're going to take them and you're going to fold them away just slightly. You don't have to fold them, crease them, just fold them lightly. Right, and now we're ready to assemble them. So we're going to take our four um, pieces of basic gray. These two will be vertical with the um, fold down. You know, they'll be folded down. These two will be horizontal with the fold up like that. And we're going to glue these together only in the corner. So we're going to take our pencil and we're going to remove these and we're going to put an X in this corner, an X in that corner, an X in this corner, and an X in that corner. That's going to tell us which corners we need to put our glue in. And basically we'll end up gluing this corner and this corner, this corner, and this corner. And we don't want to put glue past the center. So to measure the center, you're just going to do one and three eighths. Kind of like right here just a light, a light mark every X. So one and three eighths from the center here. And where's the other X's? So mark that one, need to mark this one, one and three eighths. That lets me know I don't wanna put my glue over that one and three eighths. Mark that one, need to mark this one. Okay, so we have our three, our X's. Uh, these are vertical. And we have X and X, X and X. Now these are going to be horizontal and we'll be gluing them this corner and this corner, this corner and this corner. We'll start down here with the bottom left corner and we have our one and three eighths mark so we know not to go over our one and three eighths and I'm just gonna put little dots of glue in the corner and then along the edges I don't want it to ooze out the side but I do want it to stick so these are vertical these are horizontal I'm gonna go ahead and match up the edges it's important that I match up edges this side and this side. They, it has to be as perfect as possible so that your card isn't wonky. And that's another reason why we use the glue because it gives us an opportunity to move around what we need to move around. Okay, so we have our bottom left. Now we're going to do, here's our X's we're going to glue this X and this corner together. So we have our mark, our one and three eighths mark. Again, little dots in each corner. Now I'm going to glue this corner to this one and I'm going to make sure again that I line up the edges, both sides, this side and that side perfectly kind of hold it in place while it dries. Okay, so we have the bottom part done. Now we're going to do the top part, which will be gluing this one to that corner and that corner. So we'll start with our bottom, our top left corner. Put in our little dots of glue. Again, remember the fold is facing up. Going to match those together perfectly. 
along the edges. Make sure that it's well, um, the glue is well set before we move on. And then lastly, we're going to glue this corner to that. And we can basically just put our glue here. and then match up our corners and make sure that they are even on both sides. Just hold that in place while it um, sets. Now we're going to let this set for a few minutes, like maybe five minutes. So take a five minute break. Now once it's set good um, and you feel like you can move it without it, it uh, you're going to, this is your front here. So your two verticals, that's your front. You're going to fold this over, come in with your bone folder and crease that fold. You're going to fold the other edge over, come in with your bone folder and crease. Okay, now you're going to fold it this way, bone folder and crease, fold it this way, bone folder and crease, and you're going to fold it again this way. That's your back and then again you come up to your front. Now if you have any problems with it sticking like um, they don't like these two pieces meet together at some point you can always take your scissors and just trim it just enough so that it doesn't catch on each other but if you left that hair of distance between uh, less you know you just a hair less than three you shouldn't have any problems but if you do like right here might be a problem. I can I can kind of feel that that, that wants to catch. Um, I can come in with my scissors and just kind of even those edges out like just a tad. And I'll try that again and maybe I trim this one a little bit. I can see that the cardstock sticks over the edge a little so if you have any of that just cut that whatever sticking over cut it out and it should be fine it might take a while to get it all but eventually you can get it all okay I think that should do it so when you're happy that you're uh, thing is moving the way that it should and it's not catching anywhere we're ready to decorate it so we'll come back to the front and I can see that when I do this this part's catching so I'm gonna have to trim that a little bit just a tiny bit see I didn't have to trim it very much at all so wherever it's catching, that's where you can trim. And that's normal because, you know, when you measure your cardstock, you don't always have the same measurement. So I'm pretty confident now that this is not going to catch anywhere. And I can go on to decorating it, which is back to the front. So if it opens up like this and then like this, that's your front. So 
The rest of the card is pretty easy to put together. We have our um, our gears and where's our red? And we have these. I'm going to put those on with glue, so I'll do that and I'll let you do that as well. Okay, once you get your um, your DSP on, we're ready to do our gears. Now you can see that there is um, this main, these three gears here and this largest gear in the um, basic gray. That gear is going to go on top of this gear here, kind of like that. So we're gonna put a glue dot in the center of that the the large basic gray gear. And we're just gonna set it on top there, just like that. And then the rest of the gears are just gonna be put on with glue dots. So this gear is going to be kind of right here, not exactly in the center. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and do our all geared up to celebrate too while we're at it before we put all of our gears on. So on the back of the all geared up to celebrate, I'm gonna glue that to that piece of red cardstock that we had, that small piece that's um, two and a half by one and a quarter. And you'll find that there's, it's, there's more space um, top and bottom than there is side to side. So it doesn't fit perfectly. So there's more distance here than on the sides, but that's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. And we'll I'll just put that here with some glue. That looks good. Just want to make sure that it's level and it looks like it is. Okay. Now we can put these gears on with some glue dots and I can see I didn't poke out the little holes. These holes actually come out there. So these actually come out and if you have any of your um, little glue dot sticking, just tuck it underneath there. And I guess I'll go kind of right there, not directly across, but a little bit down, over and down. Okay, and now we're ready to do this. So um, this one's going to go there, and let's see, I don't get all the holes out of this one here. That one's going to go here. And this pointy looking, let's see, the star one goes up here at the top along with another one of those. This one goes here, this one goes here, um, this one goes here, and this one goes there. So I'm just going to put those on with some glue dots. Okay, so you'll see now, this is where I forgot that we needed one for this place right here when I had you cut them out. So um, I'll go back and correct it so that you don't get have to get your fingers inky again. Um, and we're just gonna put that on with the glue dot. And my glue dots are kind of up there in the corner. And there we go. So now our front is done. Make sure everything is glued down well. Now we're ready to move on to the next uh, one. And you can see that part of the map is showing. So we're going to have to do the map as well. So just flip it one more time. The map goes here. And remember with our map, the um, this is going to be over here in the top left corner. So we'll glue those on. Okay, so um, just so that you don't lose your bearing, this is front, second, and third. So we'll go back to the second, and I can see that these are starting to kind of want to 
catch so I might need to trim that a little bit if anything starts to catch just trim it wherever it's catching okay that's better okay so we have our one our front and two so now we want to put these here in each one of these corners and we want to put our steering wheels here so we'll go ahead and glue those down so when we have all our DSP on we're going to put our um, oil stain there that's where we can sign our name or write our little message and then we're going to have our Tranquil Tide Starburst Punch, our Circle Punch, and then our Happy Father's Day. So we'll go ahead and put those on. Okay, this is, uh, we'll just call it Level 2. We've got Level 1, Level 2. Now we're going to do Level 3, which is the little signs, squares in the corners here. Our little gas can here and we want to put it so that it's hidden we want to put it over here on this half somewhere wherever you like it and then our best dad you want it so that it will be hidden when you flip this so that it won't be seen uh, when it's flipped in another direction so you want it as close to the edge as possible and kind of up here so you can put those on with glue or glue dots I'm going to use glue okay so that's level three and now we are on level four so we have level one level two level three and level four all right and what's on level four we have our tool DSP here Go in the center we have our pumpkin pie to go on the edges like that so we'll go ahead and glue those down okay so we have our um, so we have level one level two level three and level four so now we need to put a red scallop and our you make my heart jump you jump start my heart up there and we need to put our rectangle and our toolbox down here so we'll go ahead and glue those together and then we'll put those in place with our glue as well okay our card is finished so we have our level one our level two, level three, and level four. All done. All right, well, thanks for joining me and doing this card with me, this Infinity Father's Day card. Check out my website, www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current uh, club kits I'm offering. Bye now.